behind me in the subway, you know, in spite of me, so I'm going to run to that room to a Bible study. And listen, in this short message, I'm making clear to you that you should never have to pay for your safety. Now, understand me well what I'm saying. I'm not talking about the military or about people that are in government positions, okay? I'm talking about your, the, I'm talking about the people close to you in your life. You should never have to pay them in order to, or to be safe around them. That includes parents, grandparents, children, grandchildren, your spouse, your husband or your wife, your family-in-law, um, your cousins, also your friends and colleagues, some people from the internet also, in that context. You should never have to pay for your safety around them. The moment you have to pay them for your safety, you're in trouble. Because the moment you cannot pay anymore, or the moment someone else can pay better for your destruction, they will join them. But I mean, this is the following. I know this guy. He is, yes, he's grown up now, but he doesn't have a good relationship with his biological father because his biological father is physically abusive. And whenever he, that man doesn't have his way, he tends to lash out and people tend to get hurt physically around him. And everyone else just has to find a way to deal with it. He never wants to admit that he is wrong, that he shouldn't do that. He always comes with excuses for his violent, dangerous behavior. He does not care if he injures someone else, especially his children. They just have to find a way to deal with it. And he always blackmails his children that, you know, I'm the one going to job, to my work every day to provide for you, blah, blah, blah. So basically that man was claimed that he has a right to inflict harm on his children and on his wife and some other people around him because he has a job. The logic doesn't make, <laughs> it's completely messed up. Now, that guy, he does not have a relationship anymore with his father. He doesn't even talk with him. And, you know, I support him. Why? Because if someone is dangerous towards you and they refuse, I'm talking about objective danger. I'm not talking about opinions or if someone does not act in a manner that's conforming to your traditions. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about when someone is an objective physical and emotional danger towards you and they refuse to admit it and they even pretend as if you're the crazy ones, if you're the one making things up, well, they know very well what they're doing to you. And also when you have an environment that protects the perpetrator and blames you. When you have such environments, throw them away, drop them like they're hot, drop it like it's hot, and um, don't worry, the Lord Jesus will provide other people in your life for you, okay? Never pay for your safety. The moment you have to pay for your safety, and there's another thing I want to talk about in the next video. You cannot please evildoers. You simply can't. But this is for now. Be at peace.